He was once a frail and pitiful human who ended up becoming the most powerful curse vampire hunter and married a gorgeous vampire. Hundreds of years ago, vampires and humans had a disagreement online, which escalated far beyond a simple boxing match, turning into a full-blown war that nearly led to the extinction of the vampires. Since then, the vampires have been living in hiding, much like Logan Paul after the infamous incident in the Japanese forest, to avoid being killed like the others. One such foolish, BTS-looking vampire, who thinks he's incredibly cool because women find him attractive, boards an airship bound for Paris. He's searching for the Book of Vanettas, a highly significant magical artifact that could potentially aid the vampires. As he's walking, he notices a cute girl named Amelia, who appears to be sick, so he goes to help her. Upon seeing his boy band-worthy face, she immediately perks up, and asks what he's doing there. He tells her he's on his way to Paris aboard this demonic-looking airship because he suspects the Book of Vanettas is on board, which captures her attention as if it were the release of a new Twilight movie. Meanwhile, on top of the grotesque ship stands an equally unattractive man with hair longer than the average American's lifespan, grinning creepily. Inside, Amelia follows the guy but suddenly collapses. Before he can help her, she warns him to stay away which causes all the lights in the area to shatter. He notices her eyes turning red and her teeth growing larger, realizing she's a vampire. Before he can react, the windows explode as a mysterious man leaps in to grab the girl, but the guy manages to save her. The man introduces himself as Van and orders the guy to leave the girl behind, saying she wouldn't be interested in someone like him. The guy responds by saying that girls prefer nice guys, and she would definitely choose him over Van. This enrages Van, who charges at him with his blade, barely missing as the guy gracefully dodges every strike. Suddenly, Amelia begins to feel pain, distracting the guy, and Van uses this moment to try and trip him with a wire. But the guy is quick on his feet, tossing Amelia into the air, dodging back, and landing a powerful punch that sends Van flying to the ground, like my self-esteem every time I text my ex. As Van picks himself up, he realizes the guy is also a vampire, and a very strong one. The guy then flees with the girl into the forest, hoping to finally get somewhere with her. However, the girl starts acting crazy as a black ghost seems to kiss her face. She begins crying, and the guy tries to find help. But before he can leave, she latches onto him, and just when he thinks he might get lucky, she bites his neck and starts sucking his blood like it's a Capri Sun. The guy tries to escape while Amelia loses control, as black tentacles erupt around her, attacking him and others nearby. Just when the situation seems like it's about to take an inappropriate turn with the tentacles, the guy intervenes, pulling her away as others flee. He begins to regret his involvement, realizing he's dealing with someone unstable. But before he can react, she pushes him back again. Just as she's about to finish him off, a bolt of lightning strikes, knocking both of them down then reappears between them, saying the girl is possessed by spirits that only he can get rid of. Amelia's tentacles grow even more out of control, but the guy proves his mettle by shooting them down. He asks Van if he's a priest planning to kill her, but Van jokes that he can't be a priest since he's not interested in kids. Instead, Van claims he's a doctor specializing in treating crazy women. He pulls out a small blue book, which immediately catches the guy's attention, and he realizes this is the Book of Vanettas. Van uses a spell that satisfies the spirit possessing Amelia, forcing it to leave her body. The guy is amazed at Van's stamina and ability, while Amelia, like many others, ends up preferring Van over the nice guy. As they watch, some police arrive and order them to surrender. Surprisingly, they don't open fire immediately. Van tries to scare them off, but ends up tripping and falling off the airship. The guy unexpectedly jumps off after him, grabbing Van's leg as they fall, both staring at the blue moon in a strangely romantic moment, though Van quickly clarifies with a No homo! After they crash land, the guy helps Van up and starts questioning how he managed to perform so well. Van explains he's from Alabama and has had plenty of practice. He tells the guy that he wants to save all vampires and asks him to become his bodyguard, since Van is only human and can die easily. The guy agrees, and they form a team, once again exchanging a No homo! The next day, they get arrested for breaking onto the airship, and are thrown into a jail cell. While they're resting, the guy explains to Van that he's on a mission because his teacher told him to go to Paris, find the book of Vanettas, and uncover its secret. Van jokes that his teacher must have been a crack addict for not giving more specific instructions. The guy realizes Van is right, but before he can think further, a policeman arrives, telling them a wealthy politician has arranged for their release and wishes to meet them. Both of them exit the prison, and immediately, Noah is captivated by a completely unrealistic-looking Paris. 
then tells him to keep moving, but no keeps getting sidetracked, and even tries to snatch some kids, then quickly grabs him and drags him away. After a while, they enter a luxurious hotel, and Van explains that after the war, the vampires were defeated but allowed to survive on the condition that they never harm humans again. Since then, some vampires have been living among humans, and the queen appointed a vampire politician to oversee the situation. They enter the politician's room, where two foolish vampires attempt to attack them, stopping just short of Van's neck, telling him to knock before entering, then snaps at them to shut their mouths, while the fat, bald politician orders them to stand down. The bald man asks if Van is the human with the book of Venetus, while No gets distracted playing with a cat, only to get slapped. Then casually walks over, sits down on the couch like a boss, and demands the return of all their possessions, including the book of Venetus and Amelia. The politician calmly responds that Amelia cannot be allowed to live because she was possessed and attacked humans. He continues by stating that she will be killed to prevent further danger. No, the emotional softed, starts crying, protesting her innocence, while Van calmly asserts that he already cured her using the book. The politician pulls the book out and claims it's not magical, but Van counters, saying the politician lacks the intelligence to understand how to use it. The bald man then threatens to torture Van until he reveals his true motives. Van insists his only goal is to save the vampires. This infuriates the others, sparking an argument that triggers No's traumatic stress. In his rage, No kicks the desk away, snatching the book from the politician's fat hands. He tells them that all the recently possessed vampires are due to someone cursing them and promises to find the culprit and bring them before Van, who will use the book to deal with them. The politician gives them one day to solve the issue, otherwise, Amelia will be executed. Both of them leave the room, and No throws the book at Van's ugly face, insisting they need to find the culprit immediately. Van laughs at No, calling him a simp and joking that he must be a Discord mod who asks for feet pics in his spare time. After leaving the hotel, they meet with Dan, Van's informant, who has information on the killer responsible for nine recent murders. Van begs him for the intel and pays him. Dan then tells them to follow a bat, which promptly takes off. No grabs Van using his vampire abilities to leap across rooftops, running along the buildings while Van explains that a few months ago, this vampire emerged and killed nine humans, then had been hunting him, but decided to help Amelia along the way, hoping for a one-night stand. Suddenly, they hear a commotion and spot a deranged-looking vampire trying to kill a human. Van tells No that this is their target, and they must stop him without hesitation. No throws Van like a rag doll straight at the vampire, hitting and distracting him. No then leaps and pins the vampire to the ground while Van emerges from the debris and uses his magical techniques to perform a weird spell, temporarily returning the vampire to normal and knocking him out. Van suggests they take the killer to the fat politician, but before they can move, two figures emerge from the shadows, asking Van if he's the one with the magical book. The figures turn out to be Luca, a low-ranking vampire, and Jin, a total MILF, then immediately calls Dibs on the MILF and asks what they want from him. Luca explains that both she and Jin are vampires investigating these crimes and that they want to destroy the Book of Venetus, believing it's the source of the curse that's afflicting vampires, then mocks Luca by calling her a bite-sized midget, which angers Jin, intimidating both No and Van. Luca accuses Van of cursing vampires with his magic book and insists on destroying it to prevent further possession. Then calls her stupid for thinking that, and explains that he's a doctor who's trying to help the cursed vampires. No adds that they need to take the cursed vampire to the fat politician immediately, which further angers Luca. She insists that she must destroy the book because her stepbrother was cursed while she was stuck in a washing machine. Then offers to heal her stepbrother, but this only enrages Jin, who swings her suitcase at him. Fortunately, no intervenes just in time, pulling Van out of harm's way. No then uses his wire to trip Jin, knocking her hood off and revealing that she's actually a total hottie, which prompts Van to call Dibs again. Luca once again demands Van hand over the book, but he refuses, which drives Jin crazy. She opens her suitcase to reveal a red weapon, terrifying Van. 